Okay, Eris contact. Amateur radio. Oh, that's interesting. Pack it. hundreds of hours in the simulator 
um, simulating how to deal with any kind of emergency or of nominal situation that might happen during launch or re-entry. And then we spend a lot of time underwater in the pool to learn how to do spacewalks. And then we um, spend many hours uh, at the controls of a simulated robotic arm to, to learn how to um, uh, operate, how to fly, as we say, the robotic arm, which is outside the space station. And then, of course, you know, closer to flight, we prepare, um, we learn how to operate all the experiments that will specifically be in our flight program. Over. Hello, Terence. Um, it would be long to name them all, but I can tell you, um, for example, of a couple of experiments I have been doing for the Italian Space Agency. I'm Italian. Um, in one, um, I, and then they're both uh, human physiology experiments, so I have been the subject. And on one, we have used uh, um, special, a special color made of an elastic material called a plethysmograph, uh, which I, I put around my neck. And it's, uh, it's a technology that allows us to measure blood flow in a very non-invasive way, very simple way. And you do not need an operator who has been trained for many years to interpret the images, like, for example, you would need from ultrasound. Uh, so that's an interesting technology that might be used in clinical And another experiment is about sleep. And I have been wearing a vest with a special sensor uh, during the night while I was sleeping that... Uh, um, got some, some readings and some measurements uh, that are basically a way to monitor the quality of my sleep. And that also would be used in, uh, in um, you know, to monitor patients who have uh, sleep disturbances on Earth. Over. Well, um, the question from Hannah, too, is very interesting. Um, this... Um, absence of, you know, this weightlessness, so the absence of the effects of gravity is what makes it very interesting to run experiments on the space station. You know, we can observe things that we can only observe up here on the space station because on Earth they would be masked by gravity. Um, and uh, it, it's a little bit more challenging, especially as an operator, as an astronaut. You know, you take some time to the beginning to get used to the fact that, you know, things float away or, uh, you know, it, it's sometimes hard to um, keep your body in a specific position. You know, you have to get a good um, hold and make sure that you have a good body position before you work. So those are a little bit the challenges. But uh, otherwise, we really work like uh, lab technicians. Over. Okay. get a closer look if you go on. Hi, Philip. Actually, quite a lot. We are in the process of reconfiguring the space station uh, to allow the commercial crew um, vehicles to dock to the space station. So there have been um, three space walks during our stay up here, uh, specifically for that purpose. And uh, we have been doing a lot of reconfiguration and remodeling inside the space station as well. And uh, so hopefully by the end of the year or early next year, Good.